Let me welcome Lauren, who is a founder of Nuez Milk. Hi, how are you? Hello. Um, my name's Lauren Elby. Um, I uh, like to see myself as a local food uh, creative doer. Please excuse me, I'm going to be reading. I'm a milk, not milker, not a public speaker. But <laughs> I'm very excited to be here to talk about what I'm up to. Um, I'm very interested in participating in a sustainable food system and promoting organic, fresh, and local food. I think that innovation in the food world is not only about new technology and new types of food, but also about finding ways to help consumers have better access to fresh, local, ethical, and organic food. Some of the ways that I am working towards this um, goal is um, I organize a small farmer's market with the city of North Vancouver called the Alfresco Market. I think all of us participate in the food industry as consumers, and I see educated, um, demanding consumers that demand high quality products very powerful in the local food community. Um, I throw underground long table dinner parties with Rebecca Wilson. She's a uh, holistic nutritionist and trained chef um, with the intention of promoting community and raising awareness of local food, local food producers, <laughs> and we like to raise a bit of money for food related projects in the city. And what I'm here to talk about mostly is um, the company that I started um, this last spring uh, in about February called um, the Nuez Beverage Company and I make um, fresh organic animals. Some of the ways that I'm thinking that I think that I'm being innovative with um, Nuez is I'm bringing, uh, my, I'm aiming to bring ethical and sustainable organic additive free products to cons customers in a convenient way um, and using non-traditional health food branding. Um, also with my use of um, social media and um, making a conscious decision to not compete on price but to compete on quality. Um, a lot of people ask me why, how I got into the nut milk business and the main reason was um, I found there was a big gap in the market. I don't like to drink uh, milk and there is no other um, fresh made, thickener, additive free nut milks out there. So I did a bit of research and found that there were lots of companies in LA and San Francisco doing just nut milk. So I decided to kind of uh, be inspired by them and start something here in Vancouver. I, stole the, I studied holistic nutrition about four years ago for a little while. And I took a closer look at my diet and realized that there was a lot of um, unnecessary non-food ingredients in uh, the food I was consuming. Like colorings, thickeners, and preservatives. While all these things are officially safe to eat, I don't think that they contribute to overall health and wellness, so I decided to cut them out of, um, cut these products out of my life and my diet, and I recommended that um, my clients, and also a personal trainer, do the same. A lot of these people didn't have the time or uh, know how to make these products, to make alternatives to these products, um, so I decided it would be a fun project to try to get into the farmer's market and make a high quality product and also get um, more involved in the food community myself. Um, most informed foodie people are well aware of some of the issues in industrial agriculture like fair wages for farm workers, humane treatment of animals, and even issues surrounding labeling of GMOs. But the most important and super basic issue is people not understanding the ingredients of the food that they eat. I haven't met many customers who don't care about these issues, but the reality of the situation is people don't have time to research or um, make such distinctions. So um, I started not. And I chose to position my branding as a more gourmet type of product rather than a traditional health food um, product. Um, because when I'm like enjoying a, a delicious product, nut milk for example, I don't want to be thinking about sad cows or um, you know, negative things. Um, I want to be thinking about beautiful farms and the process of making something by hand, and everything that goes into that. So I've intentionally stayed away from negative news about the dairy industry and um, I avoid calling my product names like vegan and paleo. A lot of customers um, are interested in my product don't self-identify as the granola hippie type people kind of people, and the traditional um, marketing of health food products doesn't resonate with non-hippies who are still interested in healthy, organic, handmade food. Healthy food marketing is also so overused it hardly means anything anymore, and it's very unsexy and unappealing. Um, so yeah, I wanted my product to be first thought of something that's delicious and gourmet, and um, not an alternative to some kind of um, evil food industry. 
The second way, second, second way that I think that I've been innovative, um, kind of by mistake, is um, by my use of social media. I kind of like am of the generation of Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and everything. So. Um, my boyfriend is um, in a band and he works for Blueprint and he books, does all the bookings for concerts for them. And social media is a huge part, huge part of his business. And so he's like, okay, you started a business. Do you have a Twitter, you have an Instagram, you have Facebook? And I was like, no. Who's gonna wanna look at pictures of like, my food photos? Like, no one's interested in that. But um, I was wrong. Um, after my first Hawker's Market, um, it was a really, Twitter and Instagram were really important tools for me um, for communicating like my farm visits and my like locally made, handmade vibe. And um, yeah, it helped create a really cool brand image that supported not only my message, but also gave me the um, ability to collaborate with other people working um, with food and to feature what they're up to and they feature what I'm up to. So it, um, I've come across a lot of people making really interesting, cool food that have no form of communication to people. And, I always tell them, get a Twitter, get an Instagram, immediately, like, it's so, so important. Um, and now I have more Instagram followers than my boyfriend, he's a little bit upset about that. <laughs> um, not that that means anything. <laughs> Maybe I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> um, the other thing um, that I was really conscious about from the, from the beginning was my whole goal was um, focusing on quality over price. I, um, there's a lot of nut milks out there that are absolute crap, but they're really, really cheap. And that's not the market that I'm going for. I was going for top quality, and I wanted to just like get the best quality of ingredients, obviously for like the most reasonable price, but I wanted to price it appropriately for um, all the work that goes into it and um, everything. So, um, and it's definitely something that there's a lot of space for in the market. And sourcing locally for me has two advantages. I get to interact with the farmers, I get to see what's in season, how the crops are doing, um, and when I can get the best deals and when I can buy and when I shouldn't buy. I also get to connect customers with the source of their food um, through social media, and it's really powerful marketing-wise, and people are actually very, very interested in this, and so am I. Um, so, Richard asked about failing. Failing's a concern, for sure. But I think that there's so much out there right now in food. The only way that you can um, differentiate, differentiate, how do you say that? Differentiate yourself is by being creative and innovative. Um, so, and I've also approached the business knowing that I'm a complete rookie. I'm not a trained chef. I'm, I'm a you know personal trainer, foodie kind of person. So I set realistic goals and. One of those was getting into the um, Vancouver Farmers Market Association, and I just got word last week that I was accepted for the winter market, which is really exciting. And, um, another angle. You okay? Um, another angle, which I'm um, starting to have more and more success with. Um, and I wasn't at first, was um, getting cafe owners on board and um, wholesaling through cafes and through um, small grocery stores. And it was a little bit hard at first because I had to kind of explain that the 150 or 250 or $3 add-on to coffee is something people will actually like, pony up for and, and want. So, um, like for instance, I supply to Culver Coffee, which is in Kitsilano, and I started them with no um, no minimum order, and they were ordering like four, six, seven like liters per week, and now they're up to about 150, 200 liters a month. A month. <laughs> um, in about two months, so it grew really, really quickly, and it was something that people were really interested in, and they wanted more flavors, and um, so that's pretty cool. And so I'm trying to get out there a little bit more and um, tell cafe owners that it's a good way for them to differentiate themselves from other cafes is by providing a way higher quality product. And I hope that more cafes will leave competing on cost to McDonald's and Tim Hortons. Um, right. Um, what else do I have to say? Um, another thing that I'm worried about in terms of failing is um, the, I'm really reliant on raw ingredients, so hazelnuts, almonds, walnuts, uh, the local hazelnut crop, I don't know if you know, is facing a total crop failure in the next five to ten years because of a tree disease called the Eastern Filbert Blight. And they're planting a new uh, resistant 
variety now, which will be ready in about five to ten years. So it's something that I'm like really scared about, and the prices are going to be increasing quite a bit. So it's something that I'm going to have to creatively work around. Um, and yeah, higher, uh, higher quality food, in my opinion, is the biggest thing coming for the food industry. It's something people are more and more aware of and educated and demanding. And there's a lot of beauty in food and there isn't just anything quite like trying something delicious that's fresh prepared with um, the best ingredients. And I want to be a part of that with Noaz and my other project. <laughs>